Don't miss ccgcastle.com, best place for Pokemon trading card game. You can find singles for standard, legacy or expanded format, sealed products like booster box, team, team decks. With TCG Center 5 code, you will get 5% discount on your purchase. Check video description or visit CCG. Hello Castle and welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Today we have a Belgium um, national champion uh, winner deck. So this was a deck that Seen Copper, I, I think I pronounced right, uh, played. And he won Belgium um, national championship for 2016, so he played Night March. But it was a little bit different Night March um, than you can actually see over the internet. So he actually played um, two Pokemon catchers, flip a coin if had switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon one of his or her active Pokemon, which is definitely good because it's non Lysander and actually you can you know, play supporter card and uh, try to catch something on your opponent bench, for example. You can grab them uh, multiple times with uh, Puzzle of Time, so actually that's a pretty decent idea. And also he played uh, Deliquent in this deck, so for example he can discard any Stadium card and uh, your uh, and the opponent needs to discard 3 cards from his or her hand, which is also good because at that point you can uh, uh, get some advantage by discarding some cards from your opponent, opponent hand, which can be actually crucial in some points. <clears throat> but pretty much other cards are um, pretty much staple in this deck. So from the Pokémons, he played uh, three Shaming ZX instead of four. A um, lot of people play four Shamings. Um, Few people, a lot of people play three Shaming ZX. I think the three Shaming ZX uh, is pretty much good for this uh, deck for the setup. Um, especially when we um, get the latest cards like Fake Scalade. But uh, in, 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 in the late game also, um, when the end is reprinted, I think maybe four shamans could have uh, more sense, because uh, if someone ends you, uh, you can maybe just go with, uh, I don't know, Ultra Ball, if you can uh, get it and uh, get a new shaman and just uh, draw cards. We have six, but uh, again, we have a lot of uh, different cards, like, uh, the stand like the standard format was uh, previously year, um, when the end was uh, in format. We have right now Versus Seeker, so it's not the end of the world. We can even get Versus Seeker or any other supporter card, so we can draw new cards with M down to uh, lower hand. So standard 444 formation, Joltic Lamp and Bookaboo, uh, four battle compressors, pretty much standard in this format, uh, one escape rope for those Jolteons, um, but uh, any other situations when you cannot attack when you and you have escape rope, so you can switch down to bench or even force your opponent to uh, move in the front with something with energies or maybe EX instead of the regular Pokemon. Uh, two catchers, I mentioned it earlier, four puzzle of times. Play two copies of Puzzle of Time at the same time, put any two cards from a disc pile into your hand, or if you played one and uh, one, you can rearrange the top three cards in any position you like. One megaphone and one target whistle, definitely good, so you can actually put something on your opponent's bench and snipe it. Uh, town map, times one, um, you can play with uh, face up prizes so you know what you can take. Four trainers mail, uh, four copies of Ultra Ball, four copies of Versus Seeker. Um, one copy of AZ, so with AZ you can actually remove shames from play or just replay them. Um, one Deliquent. <clears throat> one copy of Hex Maniac, shut down all abilities, um, definitely good against Greninja and Crobats. But also at the turn 1, if you go first, you can just play Hex Maniac and you can prevent your opponent Night March or maybe even Wild Bloom um, for the setup, so definitely good card. A um, lot of people runs these days two copies, but I think one is just enough. Especially if you play Puzzle of Time, so you can just get him um, back easily. Or four versus Seekers. Uh, one copy of Judge. Uh, I think it was only one copy of Lysander. He has three copies of Sycamore. Also one copy of Teammates. When your Pokemon uh, was knocked out, you can uh, play this card and search your deck for any two cards. Definitely strong, powerful card, especially for the Night March deck. Uh, only three dimension wallies. To be honest, I don't think <clears throat> uh, four copies needs to be played, especially with Puzzle of Times, but plus uh, you also have a lot of uh, Night March Mirror matches, so you, if you play four copies, you just have pretty much uh, three or four dead cards in your hand, depending on who go first and who can find first Dimension Wally. Um, two Fighting Fury Belts, 
one float stone for retreat and uh, four double colors energy of course so definitely interesting deck list if you're looking for any of these cards you can find them on ccgcastle.com i provide you the link in the video description and you can get 5% discount on your purchase by typing TCG Center 5 code. So let's do a one quickly game test so you can actually see this deck um, in. Alright, so let's see this um, winner deck in action. So I want the coin flip and I can go first with my Nightmare setup. So going first is actually not that bad because I can actually try to um, force my opponent to play 4 cards with Judge if that can actually happen. Alright, so I actually got pretty bad hands, so let's just go first with a one battle compressor. I can actually get rid of some lampens for the beginning. After that I can play one Ultra Ball. I guess I can grab, I don't know, maybe one Joltic and after that I can play just another Ultra Ball for one more Shaman so I can uh, play uh, for the six cards instead of three and in that case I can also just uh, limit down my um, Shamus on the bench so there is a fresh uh, setup for six I'm also looking for um, I'm also looking for something like I don't know alright so Sycamore is good for the top deck Looking for something like escape rope, just in case if that survive can um, hit me with a paralyze, I will not be able to retreat. Or even sky return, which is even worse. So there is a ultra ball for shaming, so he can set up for four additional cards. I have teammates just in case he is able to knock something um, from play. I can easily play my teammates, uh, grab any two cards, uh, but will that happen? I don't know. And there is a Sycamore, so Sycamore for the fresh 7. Um, yeah, the problem is I already played two Puzzle of Times and pretty much I played them for nothing, so there is a low chance that I can grab actually two times something for my disc pile with playing two times teammates. Luckily he got Tails on that coin flip, so he's not able to paralyze my Shaman, so that means that I can actually Sky Return, um, get maybe in a loop with Shaman Sky Return, because that superior cannot hit for the knockout. Uh, I mean, he can, because next turn his attack does 60 more, I guess, or 80 even, not sure. So yeah, I need to be very cautious about that. Alright, so there's Ari Arietos and Servines, and a level ball. Alright, so he can grab another Servine, uh, try to paralyze me again if he get heads, yes, so this time he got heads on coin flip, and there's another shame for setup. Actually that uh, paralyze is just huge, especially when you can use coil and uh, you force your opponent to stay um, in the front with the uh, paralyzed Pokemon. So I guess my main focus should be those Shamans on the bench with uh, Target Whistle and Lysander or maybe even uh, the Pokemon Catcher since this deck running um, like two Pokemon Catchers. So let's just go with a Sycamore. Maybe we can find Escape Rope. That's not uh, that's not optional right now, but let me just discard some supporter cards that I actually don't need. Alright. I already have enough Night Marchers. Oh, I don't have, I only have four, but I'm thinking about sniping that shaming on the bench. So there is six night marchers in my discard pile, um, one trainer's mail, maybe I can go into Ultra Ball, not just another Sycamore, so I'm pretty bad. I pretty I draw pretty bad right now. Um, I guess I can play Puzzle of Time and let's see what I can find. Well, top three cards. I guess I can use Shaming as a top three cards. 
and let's just pass. I mean, next turn I'm losing two prizes. Um, I was not able to do anything. But I guess I still have a good chance to snipe those shamans on the bench. And there's a super scoop up. Oh, luckily it's another Tails, so he's not able to um, remove shaman from play. And then discard it with his Sycamore, so there's another Servine and Superior. He already had two of them, and there's Coil again, so he can hit me with the Coil for 60, which is enough for the knockout. Alright, so let's see. I guess I can go with the Jolting because I don't need that Stadium for attack. Let's bench down one more Joltic and let's go with a Shaming. I know what's my top deck cards. Um, Starlit Megaphone. It's okay, I guess. Let me see. There is five Six Night Marchers in my disc file. Alright, so I'm forced to play another puzzle of time because there is no point of keeping it in my hand. And I actually need to go with the Sycamore because. I need seven night marchers to be able to knock out um, this superior. It's 140 HP, but even better, I have Pokemon Catcher, and I might get two prize cards. Let me just see the top four cards. I guess I can grab one Battle Compressor, but let me see where is my Lysander because I'm looking to snipe those Shamans. Oh, so he is in my prize cards. Okay, so where are my double colorless energies? I guess I can discard Ultra Ball, and I guess I can discard um, Trainer's Mail, and maybe even Float Stone. Alright, so I'm down to four cards. The question is... The question is just go with the Night March for Superior because if he tries to attack me he needs to use Slashing Strike and he can't attack next turn so I guess I can grab in this point um, one copy of Lysander because it's better it's 100% knockout on that Shaman EX I have Joltik sitting on my bench so with Joltik I can just snipe that Shaman for the um, double but I also have um, Poopkaboo so it even doesn't matter, and he just plays N, and I totally forget that um, people online plays N, so I need to draw five cards. Okay, I might get better hand than this. I might just draw double colorless, and uh, oh, I got three double colorless instead of one. Plus I got Dimension Wally, so I have also Trainer's Mail, so I can actually pick that Lysander, that's for sure, because the top four cards, the, top, uh, the remaining four cards would definitely be a Lysander. So let's see, can he find Arietos, uh, hit for the 40, find the Muscle Band and maybe poison me for the knockout. There's a good possibility of that. But again, as long as you play um, Shames against Night March, um, you're pretty much uh, sure that you're not going to win. And there's a Slashing Strike, so he actually decided to hit me with a Slashing Strike. Um, in this case, I can promote my Poopkaboo because it's... 100 HP Pokemon um, plus I have that Dimension Wall already in my hand and I guess if he ends me I have enough cards to survive so I can just clean him his uh, superior with a Poopkaboo knockout and next turn I can just uh, try to let's pick one more attacker and I can next turn just try to knock out those Shamans so there is a spinner in the front. So I have a Lysander and I have one versus Seeker left. Plus I have Catcher and I can just easily Lysander shame for two prizes. After that I can just go Trainer's Mail for another versus Seeker and I have double Clovis Energy ready for Joltik so I can uh, knock out another shame from play. Alright, so there's a Sycamore for the Fresh Hands. He's down to 11 cards and down to 4. Uh, at least it was not N. Oh, but there is a Dimension uh, Wally replaced. So he actually replaced my Dimension Wally. Luckily, I'm not paralyzed. There's another Trainer's Mail. Um, it, in, in this situation, I need four 
uh, double colorless energy to be able to attack. And there is super scoop up, so he's desperately looking to super scoop up his shame, and if he managed to do it, that's gonna be huge. But unfortunately, he was not able to do it, so three times he hit that tails on the super scoop up, and uh, those three huge tails are pretty much uh, my victory. So, I don't need to wait anymore, so I will just go with my Lysander. Um, let's see what I can find with the trainer's mail. Now, I have another Dimension Wally, actually, so... I guess I can use that instead of um, Versus Seeker. So if there's another Dimension Wally, I can just play down one of my DCs. I can even bench down my Joltik and I can hit for the Night March for two more prizes. Even if he tries to end me right now, I guess I can grab two more Versus Seekers. I will have five cards in my um, deck in total, plus Pretty much um, with N, I can draw two, so three cards uh, should uh, stay remained in my deck. But I guess this is pretty much weak three. Even if he managed to knock me out, I have uh, Versus Seeker ready for that Lysander, for the huge knockout of that Shaman on the bench, and that's pretty much a game for me. So there's a teammates. With teammates, he can actually grab maybe uh, Enhanced Hammer if he played. And one superior, I'll take a knockout on my active Pukubu, discard. Um, a double colors from my bench at Joltik, but in that case, again, I have one uh, DC left in my hand, so I'm pretty much uh, safe. And he hit for the four tails, four tails in a row with that super scoop up. If that was a has, that would be a huge has for that shaming, and that there would be a good chance to win this uh, by decking me out, but uh, without that. I guess it's pretty much GG at this point. So let's just promote Joltik. <clears throat> Even without Lysander, I actually want this. And I have triple um, versus Seekers in my hand, so I can just go with the Lysander down to Shaman, and there's a game. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. So once again, there's a full deck list. Um, for the uh, Bel Belgium 2016 uh, national champion. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos. If you have any questions, um, you can uh, leave comments below or send me a private message. And also, if you're looking for any of these cards, um, you can find them on ccgcastle.com. Once again, I uh, provide you a link in the video description with uh, promotion uh, promotion code, so you can also get 5% discount on your purchase. And yeah, that was pretty much all. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it or dislike it if you don't like it. And yeah, stay tuned for more future videos. Till the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.